Hi, I'm Annie Sleese, and I'm on the staff at NAMI Delaware. This is part of a discussion series focused on back to school community resources. We're talking with state agencies who work to support youth and families in Delaware. Before we begin, I'd like to give you a little information about NAMI Delaware. NAMI stands for National Alliance on Mental Illness. We are the Delaware chapter of this national organization, which is the largest grassroots mental health organization in the country. There are NAMIs in every state and hundreds across the country. If you are outside the state of Delaware, you can find your local chapter by visiting NAMI.org. NAMI Delaware offers support, education, and advocacy to those affected by mental illness, not only for those diagnosed, but also for those who care for them. You can learn more by visiting our website, which you'll see streaming along the bottom of this video. On our website, you'll see there are other mental health related resources available. You can click the education tab and then select resources. NAMI Delaware is not a crisis response agency, but there are resources available 24 seven should you or a loved one need immediate crisis support. We wanna make sure you have access. You can access Delaware's Hope Line or you can access the National Crisis Text Line. You can see that banner at the bottom of the screen. Today, we're talking to Midra Surat of PIC, or Parent Information Center of Delaware. Welcome, Midra. Hi, Annie. Thanks so Hi. much for having me. Absolutely. We're happy you're here. So this is such a busy time, back to school and everything. I know you shared that you have a new uh, kindergartner just starting today. Congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you. So you are uh, executive director at PIC. Can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been with PIC and what led you to that work? Sure. So I've been with PIC going on 12 years um, this year, and I have literally worked in every capacity within this organization. I started as a volunteer. Um, prior to my role or to coming at PIC, I was a um, CASA, which is a court appointed special advocate for children and, and youth in foster care. And I was also an educational surrogate parent. And it was by way of one of the children that I was advocating for that I learned about Parent Information Center and the great resources that are available. So much so that I offered to volunteer and been here ever since. Wow, congratulations. That's wonderful, 12 years. So here we are, it's been 18 months since COVID changed everything, right? How has it impacted the work at PIC? You know, it's um, impacted us several ways. So we we support a lot of what much, much of our work is to support families and children um, with disabilities and our special health care needs. And so with the pandemic, we had to pivot to continue to offer that continuity of support to children and their families, but virtually. And so a lot of our work was in person. We provided trainings in person to families and we were no longer able to do that. Also, many of our staff, many of our staff are parents of children with disabilities or special needs themselves. And so they were too also impacted by the school closures and with COVID. And so it really forced us to think outside of the box um, with the primary goal of always supporting children and, and families and finding ways to reach them, especially during that difficult time. Right, right. COVID has absolutely taught us all how to be technology gurus. I think we've all learned how to do all these virtual things that we might absolutely. never have learned how to do. But thank you for the work you're doing. And you shared a little bit about the, the offerings of PIC. But for those viewers who may have never heard of PIC, do you want to elaborate a little bit more on, on your work? Sure. So Parent Information Center is a statewide nonprofit organization that provides resources, education and support to parents of children with and without disabilities. But we specifically focus on parents of children with disabilities and or special health care needs. And we do that in a number of ways. We provide one on one consultations with families. If you have a question about your child's education or returning to school and you're not sure what support your child is entitled to, we can help you with that. We also have a number of resources that are available to families online and on our social media platforms as well. Wonderful. I'm sure that that really helps families who might feel in the dark in uh, in a lot of ways with regard to education. 
So speaking of education, it is back to school time. And that's really our focus with this discussion series. So do you have any special programs or services that you want to make sure our viewers know about with, with PIC? Sure. So much of our programming and the way that we support families, in addition to the one-on-one -on -one support, are through trainings. And so we offer a number of different trainings so that you know what your rights are, you know what your child's rights are, you know um, how to interact with the school. Prior to the, to the pandemic, we focused a lot on helping parents with communication, communicating with the school, understanding special education and their rights. And while we're still focusing on those areas, now it's even more important for families to feel empowered and to be equipped to be able to work and, and to communicate with their child's school. So we have a number of programs that we offer monthly, either via webinar or through our Facebook um, pages where we offer Facebook Lives on topics such as um, eligibility for special education, understanding the process, or my, I have a newborn and I'm not sure about early intervention or toddler, and I'm not sure if they need additional supports or services, who do I turn to? And so it's just to, to continue that engagement and ongoing support to families. And what's really important is that we meet families where they are. So we don't want to make this um, a, a difficult task to, to access our trainings. You can link right to our trainings on our Facebook page or on our website. All of our trainings are available um, there as well. Wonderful. Yes. And thank you for for sharing that. We have a beside this behind the scenes expert. Wes is sharing your, your contact information. That's great. Um, so let me ask you about uh, the work you're doing. It is so um, very important, but also it could be, I guess, a little bit confusing maybe as far as what you do and what you don't do. Is there anything around um, you know, the, the work you're doing and perhaps myths that might be associated with it that you would like to, to address? Sure. So the, the one thing that we that's very confusing to families is that we're called Parent Information Center of Delaware. And for someone who does not know or is not familiar with PIC or has never heard of PIC, that's not really telling you what we do as a service, right? So oftentimes we receive calls from families um, around parenting classes, looking for parenting classes, um, and looking for support for families in other areas aside from education. And so it's really important for us to, um, as part of our branding, to let families know that PIC is a resource to help you with your child's education, to help you with, um, if you have questions about their um their uh, special health care needs or you're looking for support. We are an advocacy organization and we are a parent advocacy organization. So that's also an important distinction. We help parents become their child's or uh, best and lifelong advocate. So you don't get all of that in the name. And I know <laughs> that and we hear that a lot. But oftentimes there's a there's a um, misconception that we provide parents and services which we or parents and classes, which we do not. Got it. That's great. Thank you for clarifying that. It would make a really long subheading underneath PIC if you explained all that you did. So that's good. I'm glad you were able to, to share that. So once again, I'm going to ask Wes to share your, your banner once again for your um, contact information. And, and you do have a website and a Facebook page. Um, and uh, we, we hope that viewers will reach out and connect with PIC if they can be helpful to you. So one last thing, and then I'm going to let you get back to this back to school busy busyness. Um, we're asking everyone that we're doing this video series with to really share one uh, message for any viewers that are watching right now. This back to school season is so busy and it's really especially daunting for those of us who, who have young people in schools. Um, but do you have any messages for, for viewers? Yeah, so I too am a parent um, and whether or not you're a parent, this has been an incredibly um, challenging and, and for some frustrating, for some of us scary, um, you know, last 18 months and just be patient with yourself. We've been through a lot. This year has had a tremendous impact on all of us. Give yourself grace, understanding and time. Make time for things or those individuals that are important to you. And most importantly, breathe. You've got this. Wonderful. This is something that I tell myself daily. And so I just wanted to impart that to our viewers as well, because it really is 
you really do have this and it's a lot and give yourself grace. Take things one step at a time. That's right. Thank you. And we all need that reminder. So I want to thank you for giving that to me too while I'm on the Absolutely. call with you today. Thank you so much, Midra. Good luck to you this year, this school year, and to your kindergartner. Best of best of luck and have a wonderful time with that too. Thank you so much. Yeah. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Annie. Bye-bye.